I'm seeing installations with two or four line arrays that should be point source boxes. Yeah, and in the vein of uh, researching the whole point source thing and its merits a little bit further, we decide to have a look at the EAWQX box. Now, obviously, it's not in front of us on the bench because it didn't fit and the bench is not strong enough to hold it. We've started doing these reviews at the theatre, which is specifically the concourse in Chatswood. So mm. Which is not far from our headquarters. And uh, a big thank you to Concourse for assisting our trade in this way. Indeed. This is, uh, this is what happened. Okay, so I'm here at the Theatre and the Concourse Performing Arts Centre at Chatswood with Ben Clark from Production Audio. Ben, thanks for being here. Thanks no for bringing the PA. My pleasure. Do you want to give us a quick rundown on what we're running today? Sure. Well, we've got um, our new QX series from EAW. Uh, it is the 594 model, so that's the QX594. Uh, it's a three-way device. Uh, there are four 12-inch drivers per cabinet and a coaxial mid-high device, uh, which loads onto a common horn. Uh, so you get an incredible amount of transducers in a very small box. Indeed, and uh, that's, I guess, reflective in its frequency response. Absolutely. Um, and not only that, but also nominal coverage angles. Yeah, and so all the driver spacing and the horn size and all of those parameters are basically designed to maximise the directivity of the loudspeaker. Okay, cool. So we're going to go and uh, spend a whole bunch of time listening to a whole bunch of tracks and talking to some mics and uh, see what we think of the thing. Let's go. We've both listened. Um, we played a lot of tracks. Yeah, we did play a lot of tracks. I, in fact, stuck around for the whole day. You had to, you had to run out. Um, so you didn't hear it with the, the thunderous I, I heard you. I heard well. you shouting with diff various different microphones. Yeah, look, um, what really got me about this cabinet was aside from the, the fact that it, it sounds nice straight out of the box, is that the pattern control on it's really good. It is very tight. Um, and, and when you're trying to avoid reflections, I think that was a, it's a 90 by 40, isn't it? 90 wide, 40 high. Yeah, um, there, there are a bunch of different patterns you mm. can get. The one we looked at was the 90 by 40. Um, but yeah, when you're trying to avoid reflections, uh, you know, which, which is a big a big thing when you want to make sure intelligibility is good, you want mm. to avoid reflections off hard surfaces. Um, pattern controls everything and mm. and for me the QX was was really nice. Mm. I like the tonality of it, you know, it's not at all harsh. Um, and and just straight out of the box, you know. Mm. It, it's the kind of PA you can rock up and you know, assuming the room is okay, you, you could you could reasonably use it to mix a band without actually having a system EQ over it. I'd be that confident with it. Very good.